Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont announced he's running for re-election this year. Sanders, a self-described democratic socialist, has easily won three terms in deep blue territory. His most recent victory was by a 40-point margin. So he's likely to win over his state again come November. While he's well known for his progressive takes on Capitol Hill, Bernie Sanders is also known for his age, currently 82, and if re-elected, he'll be 88 at the end of his next term. Sanders is one of the oldest senators in Congress, second only to Republican Senator Chuck Grassley of Iowa, who is 90 years old, will be 95 at the end of his current term, and who has already filed paperwork to run again in 2028. Meaning if re-elected, he would be over 100 years old serving out a ninth term. American voters overwhelmingly claim to want age limits for lawmakers, even though they keep re-electing elderly Congress members. According to Pew Research, 87% of adults are in favor of term limits, and 79% are in favor for age limits on elected officials in Washington. While you've got older members of Congress, you've also got two men above the age of 75 running for the presidency, which is also a concern for nearly 60% of voters. Some members of Congress from both major political parties have listened to Americans' concerns over age. Republican Mitt Romney announced he's stepping down to allow for younger leadership. And Democratic Representative Jim Clyburn of South Carolina also announced he's stepping down to make way for a younger generation. A concern for a majority of Americans right now is artificial intelligence, an advanced technology that just keeps advancing. And the Congress member tasked with regulating it is 73-year-old Don Beyer. The average age of our Congress is 58 years old. Governments around the world average around 50. For more updates on this story and more, download the Street Arrow News app or go to our website, san.com.